So I'm going to show you guys a project that I've been working on for probably two years now uh, with my father-in-law. Uh, my father-in-law likes to collect old Ford tractors. And he's got a 600 and an 800, the Jubilee style tractor. I'll put a little picture of what those are over here somewhere. This one, however, is a 1954 8N. And the special thing about this tractor, well, there's a couple things. For one, it's got a Sherman transmission, which means it has a uh, three range transmission, high, low, made it to an actual Ford four speed. So that's a pretty rare transmission nowadays to come across in really good condition. Um, the other thing is that this is actually the same exact uh, year and transmission uh, combination that his father used to have and 54 also happens to be his birthday year so it's pretty awesome uh, it's pretty sentimental to him to get this done but it's been kind of put by the wayside for about a year and a half now just because we haven't had a lot of time so now that it's winter and we have spare time we're gonna start working on this again so as you can see we've had we've rebuilt the entire motor uh, it's got new sleeves new pistons new rings uh, we started painting it just to kind of protect it from rusting because it tends to oxidize pretty quick as you can see right here. Um, we have not repainted any of the front dress. This is the distributor and the governor. And we have the whole front clip off and everything's ready to go over there hung by the door. Because today what I'm doing is painting. I'm going to start painting some of the red stuff. Uh, I've already started painting some of the gray stuff. Um, actually, I think all the gray stuff is painted. So let me just show you real quick what I'm working on over here. The few black things that are going to be uh, matte black, and I'm going to put clear over them, uh, is the radiator uh, cap, gas cap, and the little door to get into the gas cap. This is the gas tank. This is the original gas tank. Um, I spent about five hours with Prepsol and 3M and got it back to near stock uh, condition and I've just hit the top layer there with some clear coat to prevent it from oxidizing again. It's very clean on the inside as you can see. So that gas tank, if you could see it, oh, let me duck under here, looked worse than that gas tank. That is the same gas tank from the same year, uh, but it looked worse than that uh, as far as rust and all the junk that was on it. Over here we have all the parts that are going to be red, little bits and pieces, um, some of the rear end uh, or the, the steering uh, ball knuckles, uh, generator, starter, uh, three point hitch, air intake, oil breather, some of the switches that go on the sides, the fan, fan shroud, tow bar. All this good stuff, water pump, side covers, clamps, all this stuff has to be painted red today by me and bad luck under the ladder, here we go. So that's what I'm working on today is getting all that stuff red and finishing up these little incidentals. This big, um, the frame of the thing actually needs a little bit more needle scaling and a little bit more prep before we can paint it. But let me show you guys, let me show you guys the stuff that's uh, already done and ready to be reassembled. Okay, so in the back of the wood shop here is some of the stuff that is ready to be reassembled. We've got the front axle all painted, the drawbars for the three-point hitch, the floorboards, the dashboard has all been repainted. It's just dusty because it's been sitting back here for like a year and a half. Uh, the steering tie rods, battery tray, radiator, uh, the seat. Uh, these are aftermarket Chinese headlights, but I painted them to match the uh, gray, so focus. So I painted these probably two weeks ago, put them back together today. A little side vent for the air intake, a little screen. There's the front end, it's got a pretty good gloss to it. There are still some dings and dents in it that I just can't manage to get out because they're so in there, but you know, it's a 60 year old tractor, so I figure he can live with it. And he seems really tickled about it. He, he is just pleased that it looks shiny. Um, there are the fenders, again, I painted those about three weeks ago. Nice and shiny. This is all like a single stage lacquer paint. Uh, new tires on uh, new rims with the original hubs. And new hardware, new tubes in the tires. There are the fronts. So it's coming along. Uh, there's the exhaust. We're gonna have to strip and repaint the exhaust just because it got banged up. 
Here's a couple of the other things I wanted to show you. Uh, new bottom for the oil air cleaner. There's, looks like a shift boot. New hoses, new filters, new wiring harness. The key, new felt to go between the tank and the radiator. And new exhaust clamps, new exhaust, because this is actually a brand new uh, repopped exhaust and that looks phenomenal. Um, the old one was all pitted up and destroyed. So I'm glad we got this. Um, that's gonna make a nice piece. We just gotta paint this lower section red. Actually, I think we should paint the whole thing red and just let it burn off. Cause stock on these tractors, this whole piece was red. Um, and the first part of this whole tractor that I rebuilt was the carburetor. There it is, it's all dusty cause it's been sitting around. And it may need cleaning again. That might just be a little surface rust in there. But I went through the whole thing, polished up all the brass, painted it up, put a new uh, bowl drain on the bottom, and got it back to just about stock with a rebuild kit. So yeah, I was pretty happy with that. So that'll be nice to get that mounted up. Sorry, it looks pink. It's actually very, there you go. It's it matches the rest of the tractor. It's all the same red. Came out of the same can. Uh, speaking of which, time to mix some paint. Oh, so that was fun. Okay. Got the uh, radiator, gas door, gas cap, all in gloss black. Got the tank. And uh, just did a wet coat of clear over the whole tank. And all the little bits are now red. So, came out pretty good. There's two fairly thick coats on all the parts. Try to get into as many of the little nooks and crannies as I could air filter housing. There is still a pretty good sized crush on that air filter housing, but luckily from where it mounts, you can't really see it. Fan, draw bar, and the battery box mount. So everything's painted. So now I'm, th I'm gonna let this dry the way it is. The next time these are gonna see paint, they will be bolted to the actual frame, and we're gonna give the frame the same treatment Actually on the frame, anything that's like a like a wear point, so probably this top box for the three-point hitch, uh, this handle mount, the pedals, we're gonna hit those with a uh, with a brush. So that way there's a nice thick durable coat of paint on those. And then we're just gonna spray the whole thing uh, with all the components, the side components, the exhaust, everything all on at once, and we're just gonna spray bomb it because we want it to look like it came off uh, the, uh, the assembly line. We don't want it to look like it's a custom tracker. We want to look like it's a survivor. So that's it. I'll uh, let me know if you guys like this. I'll make more videos about this if you want, and I'll uh, I'll actually make another video pretty soon about the other tractors that we've already restored, just so you can see what's going on. Um, kind of get an idea for how these are going to look when it's all done. Ugh, I am like covered in red paint. All right. See ya.